in this video, I want to show you how to write the equation of a of a line, of a given line from two points. So I'm planning to do four examples. Now, when you want to write the equation of a line, you need to find two things. One is the rise and the other is the run. Okay, or the gradient. Okay, you know you need to know the formula of gradient, excuse me, which is rise over run. And then you need to find the y intercept. Okay, so gradient, first thing that you do is gradient. The second thing that you find is the y intercept. And then you need to know this formula. Uh, where are we? Yeah, this is the formula. Equation of a line is uh, y times gradient plus y intercept. Okay, so let me copy this and paste it. So I'll highlight this, copy, and uh, where are we? So this is where I will delete this. And I'll paste this here. Okay. And also delete this. And I want to paste this here. Okay. So I'll go pretty fast. So here, if you look at the, when you want to find the rise, you're asking the question, Okay, now to find the rise in the uh, run, this is a line passing through negative 4 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis. So this is your run and this is your, sorry, this is your rise and this is your run. Now rise can be positive or negative. In the same way run can be positive or negative. If run, run is positive, that means if you're going up, the run is, sorry, <laughs> if you're going up, the rise is positive. Okay, and if you're going down, the run is negative. What do I mean? Suppose here, if I want to go from year to year, this is rising up, so the number would be positive. Whereas here, from year to year, if you want to go, this is called the vertical distance between suppose if you join this and this by two arrows so this is called the vertical distance and this is called the horizontal distance so the vertical distance is your rise and the horizontal distance is your run okay so if you're if you're going up the rise is positive and if you're going down the rise is negative in the same way the run if you're running to the right it is positive and if you're running to the left, do I have an example? Yeah. No, I don't have an example. If you're going to the left, here the run is positive. Here the run is positive. Okay. So let me take the first example. So the rise, so this is your rise. This is your rise and this is your run. So when you're looking at rise, you're looking, this is at zero. And you're reaching at 3. Okay, so your rise is from 0 to 3, so your rise is 3. Plus means you're going up. And here, you're running from negative 4 to 4 to the right, so the right run is 4 here. So your rise is 3 and your run is 4, so it is 3 quarters. And 3 quarters is 0 0.75, just like that. And this is your y-intercept. So you can say y-intercept is, z, sorry, y-intercept is 3. Okay. So use this formula. Equation of a line is y times gradient plus the y-intercept. So you can write the equation y is equal to 0 0.75x plus 3. I will show this on a graphic calculator later on. Okay, so let me do one more question. Yeah, this is your rise and this is your run. Now, what did I tell you about rise? You're going down. That means you're going down from 0 to, this is at 0 and you're going down to 3, negative 3. So your rise is negative 3. And your run is from negative 4 to 
zero. You're running to the right. So here the run is positive. So rise is negative three over four, which is negative 0.75. So let me scroll up. So this will be your y-intercept is, this is your y-intercept. Y-intercept is negative three. I can write y-intercept is negative three. So my equation is y is equal to, uh, I've made a mistake here. I should have written here, this is gradient times x. Sorry for the mistake. Gradient times x here. So that's y. This is not y. So this is gradient times x plus y intercept. So gradient times x plus y intercept. So your gradient is negative 0 0.75 x plus y intercept is negative 3. You can write plus negative 3, doesn't matter. So you can simplify this to y is equal to negative 0 0.75x minus 3. I'll show you this on the graphic calculator. So let me get the graphic calculator out. So the first equation was you go to graph. Okay. And uh, type in 0 or 0.75x. Let me write 0 0.7, 0 0.75x plus 3. Okay, so let me scroll up. So can you see yeah, the, this is intersecting at 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And here this is 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. You can check G solve and then you find the y intercept. The y intercept is at 3. Now, to find the x-intercept, you write, type in root. That's negative 4. Okay. Now, for the second equation, it was negative 0.75x minus 3. Okay, so let me scroll up and I will show you. Can you see, this is at negative 4, negative, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And your y-intercept is negative 3. So, g solve and uh, y y intercept is negative 3 y intercept is negative 3 and to find the x intercept you type in root that is f1 it's negative 4 okay let me finish off with two more questions okay yeah think about it you can pause now if you want to really do it and uh, think about it so what's the run okay so the run is you're going to the right so you're going from 0 to 5, your run is 5. And what's your rise? Your rise is, you're going down. That is, it should be negative. So you're going from uh, 3 to 0. So your run is negative 3. Okay, so that is, rise is negative 3 over 5, which is negative 6 over 10 which is negative 0 0.6. And what's your y-intercept? Y-intercept is 3. Okay, I'll have to change here. So this is not y. It should be x here. Okay, so this I hope you can see. Let me delete it and write a x bar. So this is x. So I delete this and this is x. So your y equation would be y is equal to negative 0 0.6 x plus 3. Okay, we'll do this and then we'll check it on the calculator. Here again, what's the run? The run is, I already written the answer here, but let me write it. So the run is from 0 to 3, you're to, going to the right, so the run is 3. And your rise is from 0 to 4, that means it is 4 here. So this is rise over run which is four thirds which is one and one thirds okay and your y intercept is your y intercept is what is zero your y intercept is zero just like that yeah. Yeah. so equation would be y is equal to one and one third x 
or you can also write this as 4x over 3. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll show you this on the calculator. So go to shortcut, menu, graph. So what was our first equation? First equation was negative 0. Point. I forgot the equation. Negative 0. 0.3x plus 3. Okay. So remember that. So menu graph. So negative 0. 0.6x plus 3. And then graph it. Okay. And we'll find the y-intercept. So the y-intercept was 3. Okay. That's the, this y-intercept. And what was the x-intercept? The x-intercept. Okay, so g sol and root. x-intercept was phi. Okay. So x-intercept was phi and y-intercept was 3. Now to check this, again, let me get the calculator out. Menu, go to graph. And the equation is 4x divided by 3. And you see it's passing from the origin. So your y-intercept is 0, 0. And uh, your x-intercept, uh, no, your gradient, you have only y-intercept. Okay, you don't have any x-intercept or x-intercept and y-intercept are the same. See you in the next video.